Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. Today's video, we're gonna take a quick look inside of GrooveMail. It just launched into beta today, meaning it was released to the public for actual use. Today is the 15th of September, 2020. We're gonna take a quick look at it to see what it looks like and to see what it's actually doing. So here we are inside of GrooveFunnels. Of course, the link in the description for your free account. And inside your free account, you are gonna have access to GrooveMail to be a beta tester meaning you get to come in here, play around with it, use what works, test what doesn't work, or update the bug database, what doesn't work, add feature requests. And of course down here, GrooveFunnels is currently in beta. Click here to report bugs. That will pop you right here inside of GrooveFunnels roadmap, as well as where you need to live inside of GrooveMail for the current time, in my opinion. Go here, go to GrooveMail, upvote these bugs for the things that aren't working, add your own bug for the things that you see don't work. And then of course, if you have a feature that you want requested, go ahead and add that to the roadmap as well. So now let's head back and actually play with GrooveMail. So here we are inside of GrooveMail. You can see contacts, opens, clicks here on the home screen. You go into leads, you have some lists. I've been playing around with it. I created a test list as you can see right there. And then you have leads. Once you get in here, you can see once you have a lead, which I do actually have a lead, but it doesn't show up. If you click here, here's where the action is really gonna come inside of the development of GrooveMail and GrooveFunnels as a whole. When you actually start putting leads into GrooveMail and in the back end of the GrooveFunnels CRM, where you're gonna have the ability to get your leads into GrooveFunnels and then track them inside of GrooveMail, their actions on Groove pages, their actions or inaction inside of GrooveMember, their actions or non-actions inside of GrooveVideo, and then be able to tag all this and create sequences and actions based upon this. And you can see all that is still coming soon. Again, they're gonna have information here on email sequences, transaction subscriptions. Again, it's all coming soon. Come back, you're gonna have the ability to add tags as well as segments. Of course, you have to create all that. Then you're gonna have the ability to create campaigns for broadcasts and sequences. So broadcasts are gonna be one-offs where you just want to send a broadcast out to everyone on certain list or based upon tags. Sequences are gonna be more automated sequences where people subscribe to your email list and then you actually have preset emails and those sequences will fire off depending on, again, the actions or inaction that they do based upon what's going on inside of the big picture of GrooveFunnels inside of the CRM that is being built. And that all starts here with GrooveMail. Then you have your forms here. I created a form and I'm gonna show you how that works and how you can embed that inside of Groove Pages. And you have some analytics here for your list, for your broadcast, as well as for your sequences. All again, work in progress. Again, this was just released today, September 15th, 2020 into beta as a beta app for everyone to actually get in here and start testing and then go down here, report bugs, request features, as you start using it to make it the best tool it can be. Because again, inside of GrooveFunnels, we're talking about the potential of the tool. Again, it's the reason I backed it. It's the reason I request people or I let people know that, hey, you can request an account, you can get an account, you can get in here for free, you can get inside the freemium model and play with the features and use a subset of the features to see where they work or won't work in your business and really start messing around and see if GrooveFunnels and the potential of GrooveFunnels is worth investing in. And if that's something you choose to do, then you have that option for a one-time payment to get in and really have the potential to have something for the future of your business. And again, they have some settings here and you click on the settings tab and there's some information here about sender info, business info, and all the stuff's gonna be changing as they make it better, more robust, and they work out the kinks, AKA the bugs. So really what you do is you create a list. Here you can see here, you could just create a new list. And once you create that, by creating a name and a description, then when that's created, you can go in and edit that. And again, it's just name and description. The real thing comes in under the forms down here. When you go to create a form, you go to forms and you would create a new form. And here you would name your form. You can see here, I've already created a test form. So we'll go ahead and we will edit that. And you go ahead and save that. Test form, that'll come in. Here's your form fields. You can add new fields right here. You can create custom fields or your existing fields. So existing fields are email, first name, last name, address, company, phone, state, country, postcode, URL, or you can create your own custom form. 
and then you just keep moving forward, save and next for your opt-in settings, single opt-in, double opt-in, just like any other autoresponder, whether you want a double opt-in for a confirmation email to be sent, or you want a single opt-in and add them straight to your database. Success page, this will be the redirection once they actually sign up. So then you keep going, save and next. Your welcome email here can be sent. Here I added a welcome email that can be sent automatically, or you can say don't send. And then I went ahead, save and next. Here you can subscribe them to a list, which I did right here to a test list. You can add tags and sequences. I'm not gonna play with that right now, but you can see once you get inside your free account, you can start playing with that. And then you go save and next. And what you see here is congratulations. You have an embed code here because they haven't integrated or they haven't created an integration into Groove Pages yet. Of course, they will be doing that just like they will be doing it for Groove Video, Groove Cell, Groove Member, all the other components of the apps once they get developed. And again, once they build that connection inside, underneath, inside the Groove Funnel CRM for all this to be interconnected, all those connections will be there. But for now, you take this form right here, you copy that, you save and exit, and then you go back to Groove Pages, go ahead and you go into your Groove Pages, You'd go into one of your sites, create a new site, or if you have three sites, you'd need to upgrade to Pro. If you want to get more sites, go ahead and we'll just open this editor and add a new page. We'll keep this very simplistic by just going here to Pages, creating a new page right here. We'll just go with a blank canvas. And again, just for simplicity, we're just going to grab a block and drop it in here to the blank canvas. We'll go with a block. We'll go with a content block. We'll grab this block right here, drag it over. And then what that does is bring a complete block in here that you can see with elements like text. And what we're gonna do now is go to elements, grab an element, scroll down until we see the embed HTML under others. So code embed, and we're just gonna drop that in right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the cog wheel to embed the code that we copied a second ago. We're gonna paste that in right here. There's the code for our form, we're gonna save that and we're simply going to publish this page. Here we're hosting this on groovepages.com, so 30 Minute Marketing is my subdomain, money being the subfolder of this page, and we'll go ahead and we'll publish that and then see what our form looks like. I did get a little alert there, it says invalid data, I'm not sure what that is. Content saved, so we'll go ahead and we'll click on this. Then we will need to actually go to page dash six because that's the actual page under that subfolder. And in there you can see our form with no styling whatsoever. So you can see at that point you would just pop in an email address and you would click submit. And of course we didn't have any kind of redirect action or anything like that. So it hasn't done anything. Again, go back and then we'll go into Groove Mail again and we'll see if we have a new contact. So then we'll go into Groove Mail. Here I'm not showing any contacts, no opens, no clicks. We'll go into leads, we'll look at list. You can see I have one active contact, but they already had that before. Go under leads, still not showing any leads there. We'll go back to the page. Oh, you can see here error, unknown backend error occurred. Please refresh and try again. If error persists, please contact support. So again, go back, go to report bugs, go into the bug database right here for GrooveMail, see if that bug exists. If it doesn't, go ahead and file it or be patient and understand that GrooveMail, GrooveFunnels, all the Groove apps are still currently under development. You, when you sign up for a free account, agree to be a beta backer, a beta tester. So go in here, test it, see what works, see what doesn't. At this point, I just wanted to show you what GrooveMail is. They just released it, so it's in beta. Still a work in progress from what I've seen, what you've seen here in this video, but hey, that's all right. We're all gonna be patient, or I'm being patient. Again, I backed this in May 2019 when it was called GroovePages 2.0 and none of this existed. So I'm more than happy to wait and see what happens because having a full-fledged CRM with all this type of integration is something I would love to have in my business and I'd, I would love to get it for a one-time price. And if that works out, then it was a wise investment. And if it doesn't, well, then I'll just move on and keep on trucking. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead, drop some comments. Let me know what you think so far about GrooveFunnels in general. 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Just like the videos you see right here, click those, keep watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.